This is the Nikon One Touch, also known as the L35 AF2. Now this camera I picked up in a charity shop for a few pounds and actually compared to others that I have it's in very good nick. Typically I give it a good clean up and I work through before I run the film through. To get into it you just pull that down and you're in. So nice condition. The plate looks decent slightly off cue there but easily fixed and that's how it looks inside up here you'll see the frame number you're on as you fire through the roll the viewfinder has markings in it as you can just about make out there so you can frame up a little bit easier the top is very simple just the trigger the bottom well this is where you get the batteries in and out you got to stick a small screwdriver or a pen there to push it down and then pull it out. That might slow you down if you're out and about in the field, but if you've got a pen handy, then that shouldn't be a big deal for you. Looking at the front, you've got a self-timer lever there. You've got a flash button there. And you've got a lever to open and close the lens cover as you can see there now notice this is a macro lens it's also 35 mil 2.8 lens so it fit nicely in my little charity shop hunt this was an upgrade from the L35 not quite as elegant but has 11 automatic functions on this one it's the same 35 mil 2.8 lens and this was introduced in 1985. It's got auto focus, auto exposure, auto flash exposure, auto shutter lock, auto film loading. You get the idea. Sets the film speed if you've got a DX coded film in there. Or if not, you need non DX coded ISO 100. All non DX coded films are automatically set to ISO 100. Four elements in three groups. For the lens the shutter is a programmed electronic shutter the viewfinder for those interested is a reverse galilean albeda type bright frame viewfinder with 0.52 times magnification focusing well it's active auto focus system from 0.7 meters to infinity focus locks when the shutter release button is depressed halfway regarding the metering it's using the cds programmed automatic exposure control from ev6 f28 at an eighth to ev17 f17.5 at 1 430th that's with a 100 speed film you can use anything from 50 to 1600 speed film quite simply you just pop that in there stick it there and it'll work out the rest for you and it'll auto advance for you at the very bottom that's what you press to get it to rewind when you've finished if you want to activate the self timer you'll pull that up and you'll press that down yeah you'll pull it up and you'll press the shutter down it's 125.5 mil by 73 by 48.5 and it weighs without batteries approximately 320 grams it takes just alkali manganese batteries now that's a beautiful looking camera i think and this is probably the first one of the three that i'm going to show you in this series of videos that i'm really going to try out to death this is the one i'm most excited about let me know if you've got any experience with this camera thanks for watching look out for the next